No, it isn't. It's a wonderful day. Talk about uh, talk about the day you guys well, look like. Let me talk about this experience up here. It's been fantastic. Our staff, we've had a wonderful time as assistant coaches. It's kind of fun to get away to and do this. And the kids have really worked hard. So we're we're tickled. This has been a great experience. I've enjoyed it very much, and I think the guys have too. So that's enough said about that. Now about football. Uh, I think we had some very good practices yesterday. Last night was very competitive. It got a got interesting. I mean, there's some good football players up there flying around after the football, so that was fun. Today we came out a little sluggish, but we got a little better as the day went on. I'm pleased with where we're at right now. Where are you pleased most, Jim? Like I said, the last time we, we all talked about a week ago, whatever, the maturity of this group, they're coming out and they're going to work most every day. Sometimes you got to jump start them a little bit. It seems like in previous years it's been a constant jump, jump start. They seem a little more mature, a little more uh, determined to be good, and I've enjoyed that. The consistency of being able to run the football through the first week and a half of camp, is that, I mean, I, is, it, is, what, is it what it seems by the numbers, or, or do, you like, do you like where you're at? You know, I don't know. It, I think so many statistics in, in the training camp can be so misleading. I think we have our moments where a play looks clean and we block it, and next time we don't block it well and they make a mistake and the stats might look good. But I think that we're doing better. We're trying to be more physical with the ball, and, uh, and we're securing the ball pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with where we're at right now. Are we the greatest running team in football history? No. But I think we're an improved football team running the ball from the previous season. Tyler's progress so far this game? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think he's working pretty hard to do it. He's not throwing the ball the wrong team. He's making better and better decisions. So I'm comfortable with that. He and I are getting along fantastic. He and I haven't been yelling at one another much lately. So, I, like I say, I'm in a pretty good frame of mind right now. I think our guys are doing really what we asked them to do. And they're responding to what we want them to do. So I'm, I'm good with that. Is that a sign of experience uh, on his part, your part, just working together? What? Uh, well, what hell, I haven't changed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would think it's got a lot to do with everybody maturing, everybody getting to know one another like we talked about earlier. I think I know him a lot better and he knows me. Expectations are through the roof with that young man. I think he's a wonderful football player, and anytime he comes out and underachieves, he, he should feel bad about that. And thus far, he's been pretty conscious of that, and that hasn't happened a lot. Coach, has CP progressed mentally how you want him to? Is he catching on? I believe so. I don't feel like he's behind any of the other newcomers when it comes to that. And he seems to, that month he had here in the summer with the other kids, it seems to have worked out pretty good. So I'm pleased with where he's at. I, like I say, if I sit here right now and say there's something I'm concerned with, you're just trying to get the, all the depth that you need. You know, they're trying to continue to develop young depth with the young kids to be able to step in and play if they need to. And their uh, ability to learn the offense. It's always you want them to learn a lot faster than they can. So that's the one thing I wish the young kids would know a little bit more, probably study a little bit harder. So but we were all young once, and uh, I think that's pretty typical. Have, have any of those generated uh, any depth at the tight end position? I know Michael's been limited. Well, that's the problem. I mean, we went through Mike's knee, and then Bart had a little strained ham, and then uh, we've been battling that, and we're trying not to kill Downsy while we're doing it. We moved Joe in. Joe's doing a lot better airs since we moved him in. and. Uh, it's, it's been okay. You know, we're doing all right. We're struggling. It's, it's training camp right now, so those those things go without saying. But it's, it's for some people that maybe were thinking they weren't going to have to go play to get mentally ready to play, and I think that's benefited us in the long run. How about Brandon? Younger what is that? Talk about his progress. Down? Brendan Downs. Oh, yeah. he's done great. He's played a lot of positions. He's been moving around everywhere, and he's here every day. He's a workhorse. He's got a great demeanor when he comes out on the football field, and I, I love it. He plays hard, and you can trust him on the football field to give you everything he's got, and that's all you look for in a football player. Have any of those young receivers shown that they can play early for you? Are they still developing? I swear. I, I would, I'd put them all in that little ball of a. They, they flash. Occasionally, one of them make a good play, the other one will make a good play, and occasionally they will run the wrong route completely. So they're young kids, and we're a long way away from playing a football game. So we'll be excited to see how they continue to develop. Where do you still want to see improvement from Justin and Hunter, the two guys probably the most experienced out here? Well, I, I'd like to see them get away from any mental mistakes when it comes to lining up right. I think 90% of playing wide outs, lining up right and shoving off the ball. So when they grasp that 90% of their job is those two things, I'll be a happy man. When you talk about the offense's maturity, are those two guys that have just they've been model at that, just stepping up and knowing everything? Well, I think they still have their mistakes. There hasn't been a perfect practice yet, so I continue to strive for that, but it's much better than it has been. You talk about Matt Crowder, his development. He's your doing team. fine. Unfortunately, Matt had to go against Man Mountain a little bit early on in camp, and my goodness. It takes seven good people to push him around. So <laughs> Max had a good camp. He's doing really good. He's, he's developing just exactly the way we thought he would. He's a smart kid. He leads that offensive line when he's on the field. His snaps are consistent, and we're pleased with his development. we just got to continue to force feed him in there and put him in situations he's never been in and watch him grow. He's like a little flower. Just keep, keep watering it. It'll blossom someday to be something really pretty.
Jim went back to the tight end. Some would say you just skipped. Did you like my flower now? I, you did. Didn't I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, it tulips. Was we got some beautiful tulips, tulips still, right? <laughs> uh, tulips, why tulips? I don't know. First thing came to my head. Daffodils. I don't know. Roses means I'm in trouble at home. You forgot your question now, didn't you? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> some would say, Sometimes that works. <laughs> some would say that at the tight end, if you don't have the depth there, you just scheme around it and with your wide receivers. Is that a... Is that a fair answer, a simple answer? I think that any football staff would like to put your 11 best players out on the field, and if, you, if your tight end is considerably less than the 11 best, then you probably would consider something. I don't feel like we're in that thing. We like to run the ball with the tight end in there. We'll have to do something. If you talk about the, some of the, the depth at tackle, I know it's been kind of the issue. There seems to be a little bit more depth at guard and center than tackle. How's that? that well, first, let me say that's always the case. That's never changed. It takes a unique being to be able to have the range, speed, athleticism, and mass to play tackle. That's why they go high in the draft and the guards don't. So it's a difficult animal to find. But we're comfortable that we have a few kids we can put out there and play. I think that, you know, James has been playing center, but he's had his share of tackle. Alex is now playing some tackle, moving him back around in guard. You know, Dallas has played tackle. Tiny's played tackle. Jawan's played tackle. We've had kids in our football program that have been out there on the edge and had a play. Now Kyler's doing it, and now and Posey are doing it, the young kids. So you throw enough stuff on the wall, so I'm going to stick. So that's what we're looking for. Are, are, are Kirby Sin and Posey starting to stick a little better? I think so. Side? I think so. That They have their moments. You know, they're, they're the young kids that are continuing to develop, and we're pleased with where they're at. They just need to continue to strain a little harder and learn what it takes to play at this level of football. But we're optimistic that those things are going to come around. We'll be fine. Last time we spoke to you, I know you, you talked about uh, John Hill and Devon Young, you know, kind of. Those were two of the running back names you mentioned most prominently, and then they came out and had probably the best numbers in that scrimmage. Are they still performing pretty well? I believe so, yes. Is that, I mean, are you starting to be able to get closer toward finding a pecking order there with those backs? Well, I think it's too early to finalize anything like that, but I'm pleased with whether they're competing. And if you had to go play tomorrow, I think that's where it'd line up. That coach, like I say, coach makes those decisions, but that would be my recommendation right now. But we're a long way from first game. And I think Marlon had a pretty doggone good day out today, and I think he'll have something to say about that before it's all said and done. We keep not asking about Justin World, and y'all keep saying he's having a good camp. What all's gone into that? What, what kind of steps has he taken? Well, I think Justin's figuring out what type of quarterback he is. And uh, he's a rhythm throwing football player that we really enjoy when he stays in rhythm. We're trying to force him to work on some weaknesses, and he's aware of those and constantly working on them. When I say, I like a kid when you tell him his weaknesses and he goes to work on them. And that's what Warley's doing right now, and he's doing it at a real good rate. When he's with, he's out there and he's playing, he's, he's performing at a good rate. He's not making mental mistakes, and that's all you ask him for. I'm tickled to death with how Justin's playing, and I, I think he's going to be a really good football player. I, I love that quarterback room. I think they're good kids in there. I think they all can play at a high level of football, and I'm glad they're in our room. Last thing, anything on Justin King? I know he's been kind of thrown, in, thrown around a little bit, trying to get in there in the mix. Is he? Well, because of yeah, the death it's the same old thing. You talk to those young kids that never played a position, we're throwing them in there. He doesn't. He flashes like the rest of those kids. Sometimes he does something nice. Sometimes he goes the wrong way. So it's too early to talk about. It.